about to go to the Volkswagen Dealers Expert Hotline and welcome in the co-host, uh, along with Evan Lazar. And all. It's all 22, right, Barthy? Is that what it is? Catch 22. Catch 22. I'm sorry. Catch 22. <laughs> What's up, Barth? Patriots.com. How'd the show okay. go yesterday? <laughs> You know, we got in some uh, third string running back talk. Did a little Bill versus Martin Gramatica. And, yeah, I don't uh, care about that. You know, he's pretty typical catch twenty two. Did you know it when he said it? <laughs> um, not immediately when he said it. I saw it. Uh, it was tweeted out by a few accounts. The quote, and I had a few people send it to me within like five minutes. And I actually said something on the air. I was like, "Oh, by the way, this got this got picked up on Twitter." And he was just kind of like, "Oh, we'll deal, we'll deal with it later." But it wasn't until we got off the air that I kind of saw it really how much it was blowing up. Do you buy it? Do you believe it? Do you think maybe mutiny is too strong, but that there's something to it? I, I wouldn't have used the word mutiny. Uh, I, and look, I wasn't in the locker room in San Francisco. I wasn't there. He was. I wouldn't use the word mutiny. I, you know, I, I covered a Super Bowl winning team in 2018, and I've, I've been here since. So I've seen winning locker rooms, losing locker rooms. It's definitely closer to, uh, you know, the vibe the last few years. But I think that's what happens when you get off to a one and three start. You don't necessarily want guys jumping for joy when you're one and three. I, I think guys know that the team needs to be better and want the team to be better. But, yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't go to the extent of mutiny. They, they should be pissed off they're one and three. Like the acceptance of being one and three, you're never going to get out of the hole, the four-year hole, if you, if you don't win games. So you should want to win games. There's guys that should be pissed off. And I, yeah. I just think it's a tough thing. Like right after the game, that's it's 15 minutes that locker room opens right after the game. Guys are still on tape and trying to get showered, trying to get ready to get on a plane. Um, yeah, you're pretty pissed off. I mean, I yeah, can... that, that, that's a raw environment. Um, and I mean, you, uh, you can speak to that better than me, but guys aren't happy with losing games. I think that, that shouldn't be news to anybody. But not to the point they want to take over the team and take over the coach and have changes. Or is this really all about the quarterback like Evan, Evan has referred to twice? Well, Zoe, you've talked about this a lot, that you know, the locker room's going to play a role in sure. deciding when they make the change. And it, it's happened in the past. It happened with Mac Jones and Cam Newton, with, with Mac Jones and Bailey Zappi. And that was kind of the discussion we were having. Um, you know, I, the take before that was basically, could you play Drake May for a game or two, and if it doesn't work, sit him for Jacoby Brissett. And I kind of said, well, you know, there's risk in that in terms of how that's viewed within the locker room with the team. And then that led to Evans' take. So the, the tone of the locker room is absolutely relevant when it comes to making the quarterback decision. So where do you think they go from here, Barth? Where do you think they go uh, this weekend? How do you think this game looks? If they end up on the wrong side of it, You know, do, does that chorus of guys who are unhappy get louder? I think it has to, right? I, I mean, especially against the Miami team that – we all saw what they were on, on Monday night. This is a very beautiful, beatable, a beatable football team. The Patriots are favored in this game. I, I think there's going to be a lot of frustrations if, if they don't win this game because this is one that they should win, and we're not going to say that too many times this year about this team, but right. this is absolutely a game they should win. I think it's a dangerous game because I don't know what's going to happen in it. Like I thought the San Francisco game was going to be a sneaky big game, which it was, because it, it gets you down to one and three, and now you got a team coming here that actually does have some talent on it. You know, they got some game breakers. And if you're not on point and if you're not communicating on defense, they can score on you with a backup, with a third, with a fourth quarterback. Yeah. They can still do that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you mentioned game breakers. There's, there's going to be a razor thin margin for error in this game just because both teams have struggled offensively. I wrote about this this morning on 98.5thesportshub.com. One big play could decide this game in any phase. It's, you know, letting Huntley break contain and, and break off a big run if he can get one on Tyree Kill down the field. Even, you know, defense special teams. I wonder if they're going to have Tyree Kill return punts this week to kind of give them some juice that they might need. Uh, there, there's really very little margin for error for explosive plays in this game. So have you talked to Evan? Is he okay? Is he uh, in the Gillette Stadium lockup down on the first floor? Where is he? Where are they keeping him? <laughs> Evan's uh, doing okay. I don't know if he's down here at the stadium yet. I haven't, se- I haven't seen him yet today. Oh, I texted oh, with boy. him this morning. Interesting. Oh, right. boy. Interesting. Yeah. oh, boy. I wish the best for him. <laughs> I, I know he's going to catch all kinds of crap for what he said. He all, I mean, he probably already is. He's That's probably already dealing with it. It's a tough night. All the it's hard night. sleeping. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All the nonsense. Oh, well, well, done. Tell, him like it is. Tell, him, tell him we're thinking of yeah. it. Yeah. Head on a swivel Will today, do. Barth. Yeah. 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 Look out. Will do. Go back to partying, Barth. Thanks, All right, buddy. Barth. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, guys. See, See you, bud. Alex Barth from Catch22, Patriots.com. Big day for them yesterday. A lot of eyeballs on it. Hey, they want clicks. They got clicks. They, they got, got plenty of that. You want downloads? Yes, media clicks. There it is.
<laughs> They've got it now. See, you know, it's, it's it's tough because they've been so good about you know when when it was Patriots Football Weekly. That's what it was called, right? With Fred and Andy Hart and Paul and those guys. You think they'll perp walk them through the uh, locker room today? <laughs> you know, Aaron Hernandez style. Hissing. Well, you got to make an example. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shut it down. Hey, if you like that clip, check out more videos from Zolak and Bertrand right here. For more Patriots analysis and opinion, hit this playlist. And for all the latest from the Sports Hub, download the app at 98.5thesportshub.com.